fall leaves are falling. There goes one and another and another and another. They land on the ground and they beg to be found. I collected some. It was so much fun. Last week we learned about crayons. Please get them out. If you still don't have any crayons, we'll do. Get some white paper and get your oil pastels too. Make sure you have your leaves right near you. Look at your leaf so carefully. See where there's yellow and orange and red and brown as well. Notice when you turn it over, there are veins along the back that you can feel and you see on the front and the edge of the leaf. Think of the lines we made. If you look carefully, it's almost a wavy or zigzaggy line. Every leaf has a shape. I'm going to draw mine big. The edge has a zag and a zig. Now I'll draw the veins. Which way do they go? That's something I can show. Every leaf has its own colors. They are hidden if you just give it a glance. You must slow your eye to a crawl and then it will see all. We're showing the colors of fall. So you remember last week when we did our pastel experiential, we focused on blending and mixing colors and overlaying colors and using line. You can see that I'm going to do all of that just looking at one leaf. There's a whole world of color mixing and blending and drawing that you can get from one leaf. You are starting your artwork before you even pick up your oil pastels. When you pick your leaves, the way that you choose the leaf that you want to use, and when you actually really look carefully at the colors, at the leaf, look where they're blending, where they're very softly, one color's moving into another, and look where there are things that are overlaid or in high contrast, like on my leaf, it's the brown spots are very high contrast against the very soft colors of the underlying leaf. What is contrast? The definition of contrast is that it's a difference. So a higher contrast would be a bigger difference and a lower contrast would be things that were very close. Which of these two paintings has higher contrast? So when you look at your leaf, try to notice what areas have high contrast and what areas have low contrast. Where do the colors blend together to make lower contrast? And where does it look like something is sitting right on top of another thing? Like the brown spots on my leaf that make it higher contrast. So let's review what you're going to do in this lesson. You're going to go outside and find some beautiful leaves and collect them and bring them home. Then you'll look so, so carefully at your leaf, at the shape of the edge, at the shape of the leaf, at the colors that you see, where they're blended and where they contrast. You're gonna turn it over and feel the texture that the veins make. You're gonna notice the direction of the veins and anything else you might see. Look carefully at the stem, too. Draw everything you observe, everything you see on your leaf. Start by drawing the shape. Make it bigger than your leaf. Make it fill the whole page.
Make sure to include the veins that you see and look at the direction that they go in when you draw them. Next, using what you learned about blending and smushing the oil pastels, start to mix the colors to get as close to the color you see on the leaf and fill in the leaf. When you're done with your leaf, you can do a background for your leaf. Think carefully about what color you want to use behind your leaf. You can tell that I'm using the side of my oil pastel from the mark that it makes. You can use the side or the point, whichever you like. When I've finished, I'm smushing or blending it in. I like the way that looks better. How about you? Enjoy your art and upload your picture.